Hello everyone, how are you? Are you looking to create a WooCommerce website but you really doesn't like the default shop page template provided by the WooCommerce? Then you come in the right place. In this video tutorial, I am going to teach you how to convert this boring WooCommerce shop page layout to this kind of professional shop page layout with the help of Elementor Pro plugin. So in the top here you can see the main header with a beautiful background. After that, that is the category session. So here you can see some main categories like bag, beauty product, menstruation, perfume. And after that, here you can see all the products. At the left hand side, here you can see a beautiful sidebar that contain product filter by category, filter by size, color, capacity and product filter by price. And in the right hand side, here you can see all the products. In the top, here you can see out of 58 product, only 20 products are showing and here you can see some sorting options and after that here you can see in a single row total 4 product are displaying and this layout is totally responsive if you want to check the responsive preview then let me click in the inspect element so as you can see here that is the mobile preview it's really looking awesome in the tab preview also it's coming properly it's really looking awesome and professional so now without wasting time let me start to build the template for the shop page so for that let me come back to the website first of all so from there I am coming to the dashboard. So as you can see here, I already installed the WooCommerce and I already created some products. Hope you know already how to create the products. If you don't know, then you can ask me in the comment section. I will make a dedicated video for that. First of all, let me come back to the plugin option directly. Actually, for designing the shop page template, I am going to use Elementor Pro plugin. I already installed and activated the Elementor plugin. So now I have to install and activate the Elementor Pro plugin. You can easily buy Elementor Pro from Elementor.com if you come back to the pricing. So as you can see here, the price is really little bit higher don't worry about that just pause the video and go to the video description from there you will get a download link by clicking on that you can download Elementor Pro in free of cost and that is totally GPL license so without any worry you can use that in your website so after downloading that zip file you have to click in the add new option for the plugin after that you have to click in this upload plugin option from there you have to click in the choose file option so from there you have to choose this file Elementor Pro by OABSO tips after downloading you will get the file next you have to click in the open option and after that you have to click in the install now option next you have to click in the activate plugin so now as you can see elementor pro already activated next i have to hover on the template and i have to click in the theme builder so from that you have to click in this product archive option because i am going to create the template for the shop page so as you can see here the elementor page builder interface is loading now so as i am using the elementor page builder pro so it by default offering me some pre-built shop page template if you really like them just you have to hover on that you have to click in the insert option the entire shop page template will be get inserted in your site but in this tutorial i am going to teach you how to create custom made shop page template so first of all let me close that next i have to click in the plus option from there i have to take single row and two column now you have to click in the first column here you can see the column width i have to make it 20 next i have to click in the plus option here so here you can see the archive product just drag and drop it here like that so as you can see here everything is coming perfectly but the sale option is not displaying properly so for that let me come back to the style option from there just scroll down a little bit so first of all here you can see the sale plus just click that and we have to increase the height let me make it 50 so as you can see here now it's coming perfectly now let me see the another customize option also so now let me start with the product customize option so first of all here you can see the column gap column gap is nothing but the space between two columns suppose let me make it 10 so as you can see the gap become narrower now after that here you can see the row gap row gap means the gap in between these two rows suppose i am making it 50 so as you can see the gap increase now alignment if you make it center aligned always you can do that it will look like that it's up to you next in the image border type i don't want any border so i'm making it none if you want border then you have to change the style also like if you make it solid it will look like that after that from here you can change the border width also but i don't want the border so i'm making it none after the spacing so as you can see here if I increase the spacing, it will look like that. But I think 0 is the perfect. Maximum, you can make it 5. Because if you make it more, then it will not look good. After that, come back to the product title. So from here, you can change the product title color also. Suppose I want red color or pink color. So as you can see here, from here, I can easily change the color. Next, typography. If you want to change the typography of the product title, always you can do that. Suppose from here, I am going to change the front family and I am choosing Roboto. After the front size, front size, suppose I am taking 20. So it will look like that. If you make it 16, then it will look like that. Hope you understand. So now from here, you can increase the 
product weight, product transform, so many things are available here. According to your need, you can edit them. After the spacing, if you increase the spacing, it will look like that. I think that is perfect. Next, I don't have any star rating. If you have the product star rating, always you can edit it from here. And after that, here you can see the price. So here you can see the price. Like for this product, it is $2,500. I want to change the color. Suppose I want blue color. So as you can see, once I change the color here, here also the color automatically changed. Next, the typography. If you want to change the typography, I mean if you want to change the front family size, etc. Always you can do that. But here I am keeping as it is. Next, here you can see the button. Button means nothing but this add to cut option. So from here you can easily change that. Even you can change the style for the hover also. But here I am keeping as it is because I think it's really looking awesome. Next, here you can see the view cut option. Now you can ask me, where is the view cut? Suppose I already add this product in cut. So after that here you can see it become view cut you can change that style also now directly come back to the box style so in the box style from here you can increase or decrease the border width border radius etc and pagination pagination is nothing but this one this one two three four suppose i am increasing the spacing if i increase the spacing it will look like that i think 50 will be the perfect now border color if you want to change the border color always you can do that also now let me change the padding also a little bit i think 12 will be perfect next in the typography if you want to change the typography always you can do that after that now let me change the color a little bit like for the active one i want the color should be white color and the background will be black color so as you can see here now it's looking quite good after the cell plus cell plus i already talked about that i already increase the height so it's become middle now and from here you can easily change the background color font color etc if you don't want this cell flash then you can disable that also it's up to you and from here you can change the border radius also if you want square then make it zero and if you want rounded then you have to make it 50 after that width you can always change the width also but i'm keeping default only so hope you understand the editing process now let me check the responsive preview also as you can see in the tablet preview it will come like that and in the mobile preview it will come like that in the mobile preview let me decrease the button size a little bit for that in the mobile preview i have to come back to the products option in the style from the scroll down and come back to the button i have to click in the typography option first of all so from here front size let me take 16 i think now it's really looking cool remaining i am keeping as it is after that let me click in the publish option so once you click in the publish option this type of window will appear so from there you have to click in the add condition and you have to make it all product archive and after that you have to click in the save and close option so next let me come back to the desktop preview again so i have to design the sidebar so for that i have to come back to the dashboard first of all i'm using a free theme which does not provide any widget for the category option in the sidebar so for that we can create a menu for the categories for creating the menus i have to hover on the appearance and click in the menus if you're using a premium theme they give the widget for the product category but again i'm telling i'm using a free theme so they does not offer any category widget. so first of all i have to create the menu for creating the menu i have to click in the create a new menu option from there i'm giving the menu name as category menu next i have to click in the create menu option again so by default as you can see the product category option is not displaying here so for that i have to click in the screen option and from there you have to click in the product categories so now if you scroll down as you can see here product category are showing here click on that and after that let me click in the view all option so from there let me choose the main categories suppose i am choosing the main categories like perfume watch women's dress etc and after that i have to click in the add to menu so after that i have to click in the save menu option next i have to create the sidebar widget so for that i have to click in the widget option next let me scroll down a little bit so here you can see the shop sidebar click on that from there i have to click in the plus option and first of all i have to search for the menu click in the navigation menu navigation title i am giving product category and from this drop down i am selecting product category menu after that i have to click in the update option next again let me click in the plus option and search for the price so here you can see the filter product by price option is displaying click on that again i have to click in the plus option now let me search for the attribute filter product by attribute click on that suppose first of all i want size click on the done again i have to click on the plus option and again i have to search for the attribute filter product by attribute and now i want color again i have to click in the done option and again i have to click in the plus option again i have to search for the attribute again let me click in the filter product by attribute now i want the capacity option click in the done option again once done you have to click in the update option once it updated i have to come back to the shop template again 
so hover on the template and again i have to click in the theme builder option let me click on this elementor product archive now let me click in the edit option so now here actually i have to click in the plus option and let me search for the sidebar drag and drop the sidebar here and from here i am choosing shop sidebar now let me click in the update option so as you can see here now my shop page is coming like that and as you can see here the sidebar also working perfectly now let me give some gap in between the sidebar and the product archive section so for that again i have to come back to here click in this come back to the advanced option unlock the margin margin left let me take around 20 pixel let me click in the update option again now let me click in this and from here let me click in the tablet preview so in the tablet preview unlock it and give it around 10 pixel and now let me come back to the desktop preview again i don't want to display the sidebar in the mobile preview so i have to click in this from there i have to come back to the advanced option click in the responsive from there i have to enable this option hide on mobile so next what i have to do i have to design this header and after that i have to design this category section so for that i can come back here now i have to click in the plus option here now let me click in the plus option and from here i am choosing single row and single column next i have to click in this edit section option come back to the api addends and unlock the padding padding top i am taking around 120 pixel and padding bottom also i am taking around 120 after that unlock the margin also margin bottom i am taking around 50 pixel so next what i have to do i have to click in the edit session option next i have to come back to the style option from there you have to click in the classic option i need to add a background click in this and from the media library suppose i am taking this image click in the insert media next position i have to make it center center repeat let me make it no repeat size let me make it cover next i have to come back to the background overlay let me add a gradient overlay the first color i want deep black color and the second color i want black color only but little bit light black color next i have to click in the plus option so here let me search for the heading drag and drop the heading here html tag let me make it h1 and the title i am writing sub page next i have to make it center aligned come back to the style option from here the text color let me make it white color okay now it's looking quite beautiful so after that i have to design the category section also so for that again i have to click in the plus option from that again i have to click in this plus option and i'm taking single row and single column again i have to click in this edit option next i have to click in the advanced option again and after that i have to unlock the margin also so margin bottom i'm taking around 50 pixel next i have to click in this plus option and here i have to search for the category so here you can see the product category grid just drag and drop it here like that and from here i'm choosing layout to now let me choose some random category click in this plus option suppose i'm choosing bag after that again i have to click on the plus option now suppose i am choosing watch after that suppose i am choosing makeup kit let me choose the another category also click in the plus option and from here let me choose the beauty product so now you can see it's coming like that there is no image let me click in the update option so after that i have to open a dashboard in a new tab from there i have to hover on the product and after that i have to click in the categories so as you can see here i already add the bag category here so here also you can see the bag category let me open the category so here you can see in the thumbnail upload slash add image option click on that suppose from the media library i am taking this image drag and drop it here once the image uploaded successfully then i have to select the image and after that i have to click in the use image option next i have to click in the update option next let me click in this go to category option again so after that i have to add the image for the beauty product so let me come back here so here you can see the beauty product click on that let me click in the upload slash add image and let me take this image drag and drop it here and after that i have to select the image and click in the use image option click in the update option similarly let me upload the image for the makeup kit and the watch category and after that let me come back so once you add all the category image let me come back here and after that let me refresh the page once so as you can see here now it's coming perfectly if you don't like this design then you can change the layout also suppose i'm choosing the layout one it will look like that but i really like the design of layout two so i'm keeping the layout two only but if you observe one thing the image size is not coming in the full height so for that again i have to come back to the dashboard from there i have to hover on the appearance and after that i have to click in the customize option now whatever the theme you are using from there you have to find out the ocommerce option and in the ocommerce you have to find the image size option in my case i am using the receipt free theme so that is available in the shop option here you can see the card option click on that and image size i have to click in this predefined and from there i have to click in the original if you make it original so as you can see here the image size already changed here next you have to click in the publish option now let me close this after that let me come back to the site now let me open the shop page so now you can see my image size get totally changed now now it's looking really cool
So hope you understand how to design the custom shop page layout. I am ending the video tutorial here. If you have any doubt, you can always ask me in the comment section. In my next videos, I will show you how to design custom product page, account page, cart page, side cart page, etc. So please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon to get the latest notification about my channel. And if you really like this video, please like and share this video with your friends and family. Thank you. Have a nice day.